The wind howled outside as the rain poured relentlessly, beating against the windows with an almost demonic fury. It was a dark and stormy night, the kind that sent shivers down your spine and made you question the safety of your own home, I sat huddled by the fireplace, seeking solace in its warm glow, but the flickering flames seemed feeble against the encroaching darkness that loomed outside. A sense of unease settled over me, as if something sinister lurked beyond the veil of rain and thunder, with each rumble of thunder, my heart skipped a beat, and the shadows danced ominously across the walls, casting eerie shapes that seemed to take on a life of their own. The storm had a way of distorting reality, making even the familiar feel foreign and unsettling, as I peered into the stormy night, a flash of lightning momentarily illuminated the landscape, revealing gnarled trees bending under the force of the wind and a desolate road disappearing into the abyss. It was as if the storm had swallowed the world, leaving only darkness and chaos in its wake, but amidst the chaos, there was a sound that cut through the storm's symphony, a faint, distant cry for help. It sent a chill down my spine, awakening a primal instinct to investigate, to lend a hand. Against my better judgment, I grabbed a flashlight and ventured out into the tempest. The rain stung my face, and the wind threatened to knock me off balance with each step. The cries grew louder, guiding me further into the heart of the storm. Branches clawed at me, as if nature itself was trying to deter me from uncovering the source of the distress, Finally, I stumbled upon an old, dilapidated house, its windows shattered and its front door hanging precariously on its hinges. With trepidation, I pushed the door open, revealing a darkness that seemed to swallow the feeble beam of my flashlight, inside, the air was heavy with a musty odor, and the floorboards creaked under my weight. The house was a labyrinth of decaying rooms and forgotten memories, each one casting a sense of dread that intensified with every step. As I pressed on, the cries for help grew louder, leading me deeper into the bowels of the house. It felt like the walls themselves were whispering secrets, secrets that I wasn't meant to uncover. Finally, I reached a room bathed in an eerie, pale light. There, huddled in the corner, was a figure, an emaciated, trembling figure, desperate for salvation. I rushed to their side, offering comfort and reassurance, but as I drew closer, the figure slowly turned, revealing a face twisted by fear and despair. Their eyes were empty, devoid of any humanity, and a sinister grin crept across their lips. It was then that I realized the cries for help were not born out of desperation but out of a thirst, a thirst for my own soul. In a panic, I turned to flee, but the door that had led me into this nightmare had vanished, leaving me trapped in this house of horrors. The storm outside raged on, mirroring the chaos that now consumed my very being, my blood turned to ice as the figure let out an unearthly wail and dragged itself towards me. I fumbled for my flashlight, hands shaking, and desperately searched for an escape route. The pale light illuminated a small window on the far wall, just big enough to crawl through, I rushed towards it, glass crunching under my feet, as the phantom pursued me with outstretched arms. Pulling myself up, I tumbled out into the storm, landing hard on the muddy ground. The wind and rain lashed at me as I scrambled to my feet and sprinted away from the nightmarish house. My lungs burned and my legs ached but I didn't dare stop, stumbling blindly through the woods until the glowing lights of home finally came into view. I burst through the front door and collapsed to the floor, soaked and exhausted but thankfully back to the safety of hearth and home. As dawn broke, the storm clouds cleared to reveal a new day, the horrors of the night washed away by the warm morning sun. Though I survived the ordeal, the memory of that empty face and chilling cry will haunt me forever. Thank you for watching, if you like watching true scary stories, please like and subscribe to our channel.